welcome to Plaid for Women TV, your go-to resource for the business of life. Whether the CEO of your home or your own business, women struggle with the same challenges. At Plaid TV, we discuss real-life issues affecting real women and offer solutions to help you achieve your goals, get connected, and be heard. Together, we will change the world. Let's do this. No mean girls allowed. Hey, welcome everybody to Plaid for Women TV. I'm Siobhan Palmer. In this video, we're talking about women in business, specifically about negotiating. My guest is Elizabeth Lyons. She's the president of Elizabeth Lyons Consulting out of Dallas, Texas. Elizabeth, welcome. Thanks for having me on the show, Siobhan. Another important topic relative to women in business. So, Hot topic. Very hot, hot topic. topic. Hot topic, baby. <laughs> okay, let's talk about why are women, why do they have trouble negotiating uh, for a salary to begin with and then beyond that, like a pay increase? Women have a very difficult time talking about money in general. And I'm not sure why that is. I don't have any problems talking about money ever. But it's, it's a stumbling point. The number one thing that I see with women is that they don't know what their worth is. So they don't understand what they can actually command out there. And often they're very underpaid and they have no idea. So many times I hear from many HR professionals that a woman will go to a job interview, she'll be offered the first salary that's offered and literally will take it without even realizing that there's some negotiation wiggle in there. Yes. I actually had an HR person tell me about this very high level executive. Uh, this woman was like a VP of finance. She had a finance degree, for goodness <laughs> sake. And she, she had no idea what, what she would what she could earn. She had no idea. So when she went into the negotiation for the new job, instead of saying, this is how much I want to make and this is how much I did make, she started to stumble around. She would say things like, well, I just really want what's fair. I don't want to lose the opportunity. What do you think? And that's, not that's never how you want to go into a negotiation. As a woman, you want to know what you're paid and what is your increase. So literally, she was told, well, do you want to make a 10% increase? Do you want to make a 15% increase? I mean, she was literally walked through the process of of salary negotiations. There's no reason, particularly an executive woman. You start to wonder, how did you get to 150000 on the base and now all of a sudden you're in a job search and your voice is cracking around money? There's, there's no reason for that. So let's go to the opposite side. How do men view uh, salary negotiations? What's different about the totally way they do it? Totally different. Men look at it totally different. They are very brazen about it. They will just throw out a number. Erroneous number. Sometimes it, it based just, on uh, literally what? Based, based off of what they think they can get and what they think they can earn. That's what it would be based off of. Sometimes it's educated, a lot of times it's not. Um, in my coaching practice, when I work with male executives and we're talking about salaries, they always will ask me, how much can I get? And I find that very interesting. I'm, you, you make a lot of money right now. How much more do you, do you want to make? I mean, they'll, it's interesting. They're very brazen about it. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they don't know their market worth, but uh, they'll throw out some pretty steep numbers. Well, let's be very practical when you say market worth. If you would counsel a woman before she goes into a salary negotiation, is there a way where she can research out in the market a comparable job and what the salary range is so she can go in very prepared? To Absolutely. That's the number one thing. You want to be prepared in negotiations, any kind of negotiations. Um, if you're a small business owner, you want to know what your competition is doing and how much are they making, how much are they charging. Uh, if you're looking at a salary negotiation, there are salary titles and salary bands. Within every title, there's a band. It's about a $25,000 spread. Understand what the low end is. Understand what the high end is. Know where you fall within that. If you're mid-range, then consider you ask for 10% more mm -hmm. um, based off of your experience and based off of your skill set. In this market right now with low unemployment, there's no reason why you can't walk away with a 10% increase easily at, at a minimum across yeah. the country. So uh, going back to how the men negotiate and so forth, do you find many times that it's better to negotiate up, uh, start at the top and negotiate down instead of going into a, um, a lower level no, position? No, absolutely. I, I would shoot high. So if you want 10%, ask for 15% and work your way down. That's what I would say. Oh, that's a good rule of thumb. Okay. Going back to this whole um, situation, again, I deal with many HR professionals. What is the mindset that women have around money that's keeping them from really negotiating what they're worth? Fear. And I think just not being educated, just not knowing what the market will bear, not knowing where their salary fits in the band, not knowing how much they make, and also thinking that they don't deserve it. Often if they feel like they don't deserve it, they don't ask for the money. Um, often they will work very hard waiting for some promotion that never happens. So you have to speak up and show your value. Yeah, you've got to speak up and show your value. And you have to know your numbers. You've just got to know where do you fall in the market. What is the skill set command? It's not you. 
It's the skill set. The skill set pays you X. It's not you. It's not personal. Exactly. Okay, so when you say the skill set, tell us where somebody would go. If I was about to ready to go into a negotiation, where could I get this data that shows where mm -hmm. I fall in terms of the salary Lots scale. of resources online. I mean, the most simple used one is salary.com, but there's lots of other sources out there. Um, Robert Half is a large recruiting agency. They often have a booklet they put out once a year. They've got all kinds of salary data and information there. It's, it's pretty Robert easy to Half, find. Robert Half, H-A-L-F? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Terrific. So last um, point that you want to look at there and tell women about negotiation to better themselves for themselves and their families, what would you say? Leave us with a final don't, thought. Don't do it when you're angry. Don't ask for the raise when you're angry and disgruntled. That's not the time to do it. Do it calmly. Do it with poise. Do it with education. And just ask because it's not about you. It's just money. It's not that big of a deal. And the worst they can say is? No, but they won't. You're, that's the irony. Most times they're not going to say no. And if they say no, then there's another job. There's another employer out there. Yeah, that truly values your work. That truly values you. And in post-recession, it's possible that there is another employer. You may have sat in your job for a long period of time and weren't paid fairly. Now your skill set has grown. Why not go out there and look and just see what's, what's out there and what's available? Absolutely. Uh, great information. Elizabeth, if people want to get a hold of you for more information about your company, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Absolutely. Well, I do a lot of work for Plaid for Women, so please go to my website at, at elizabethlyons, L-I-O-N-S dot com. Um, I'm a writer for Plaid for Women. I do a radio show called Leadership Lessons from the Lioness, and I'd love to see you on the site. Click around, see what you see. Terrific. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Thank you, Siobhan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Siobhan Palmer with Plaid for Women TV. See you next time. Thanks for watching Plaid TV. See you next time.